With the Middle Eastern swing well underway for both the ATP and the WTA, we now have the Dubai Championships, which last week was a WTA event and this week is an ATP event. Some massive names are coming back for the first time since the Australian Open, but there are some players that have pulled out, so let's go to the withdrawal list. So only the one player that's pulled out, Milos Raonic. Of course, played Rotterdam, played against Sinner, had to withdraw from that match because of injury, so he won't be playing in Dubai this year. But like I said, there are some massive names that are playing in this event. Starting at the top of the draw, we've got eight seeds in this one and nobody gets a buy in the first round. Then Omevedev, first time back since the Australian Open. He has pulled out of the last couple of tournaments because of a injury, so be interested to see how he goes. He's playing against Shevchenko in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Nagel or Sinego in the second round. Then we've got Menchik taking on Chorich. Winner of that will take on either Marajan or the number eight seed Fakina in the second round. Then you got Herkash, number three seed, taking on Struff. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or, or O'Connell in the second round. Then you got Shapovalov versus Murray. Winner of that will take on either Monfils or the number five seed Umber. And there are some crazy first rounds here, of course, Shevchenko and Medvedev. They played an awesome match last year on the clay court, so that's a really tough match to start for Medvedev. Menchik, he's in the Doha final this week. He's going to take on Chorich, which is a really, really fun matchup. Shapovalov Murray, that is insane as a first round. And even Monfils taking on Umber. They played last week. Monfils getting the win, so there's a rematch already for that one. So huge, huge matchups. Players to watch out for, though, of course, Medvedev. Let's see how he looks after the Australian Open final, that disappointing loss, and also the injury that he's been dealing with the last few weeks. Her catch, we've got to watch out for him always, with his massive serve. But definitely look out for Menchik as well. Played really well last week. Really, really fun teenage player. Of course, Andy Murray, Shapovalov, and Monfils. Got to watch out for those guys as well. But, man, this is going to be such a fun tournament. That top half is stacked. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number seven seed, Bublik. He takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Griegspor or Shelbe in the second round. Then you've got Lehechka taking on a qualifier. A winner of that would take on either Poprin or the number four seed Hashinov in the second round. And they just played in Doha. So that's going to be really interesting to see that rematch. Then the number six seed Manorino, he takes on Van Zanschul. Winner of that would take on either Kotov or Korda in the second round. Then you got Musetti taking on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Zong or the number two seed Rublev in the second round. And again, crazy first round matchups. As I mentioned, matches like Hashinov Poprin, we saw that last week. Even Rublev versus Zong, that's a crazy match too. Not easy for Rublev. Players to watch out for, of course, you've got to watch out for Rublev. Made the final here last year. Hashinov playing in the Doha final today. So, got to keep an eye on him. Bublik, never know what you're going to get with him. Maybe he makes the final. Maybe he loses to that quali. And Manorino, having a real resurgence late in his career. So, keep an eye out for him as well. And maybe even Korda and Popperin, who have been really, really good at times as well. So, really, really interesting draw for Dubai. Not easy for the big names early on. So, there you have it. There is the Dubai Championship draw. And, man, it's stacked. I mean, there's some crazy first round matches. I don't think any of the seeds have an easy first round and the qualities draw we don't know who's going to be in the qualities just yet but when that comes out we will know and man that could be dangerous too let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this tournament of course Medvedev is the defending champion Rublev made the final here last year so those guys are probably the favorites but their draw isn't that easy and it could be really dangerous especially guys like Rublev who last week did have an upset loss so he has to be careful not to have two in a row Medvedev how's he going to look physically or maybe somebody else maybe a her catch maybe like I said a Manorino who's been really really good of late maybe he can sneak through the draw and still the win but there it is Dubai championship for the men looking really really interesting first round